Good morning and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, for those of you that this is your first time here, let me present myself. My name is Danielle Pino, and I am a long time Microsoft Access, now they call them Office App MVP from Microsoft. L don't let the title fool you. I do not work for Microsoft. I do not represent Microsoft. I simply am recognized for helping lots of people in various communities and forums and things like that. Okay. So what has happened in the, well, this week? Well, actually, most people aren't aware, but Office 2024 was actually released. So as you can see on the screen, I have my article. Basically, I'm going to go window to by window by window here, which is how I built this article up. And we're just going to review Office 2024 for a second. So what is the difference? We have all these different terms out there now, right? But we keep hearing MS 365, uh, Microsoft 365, or some people still use the old term of Office 365. Now, how does that differ uh, from Microsoft Office 2024? Now, it all has to do with purchasing your and what license you have. So if you're buying MS 365, Microsoft 365, or if you're using the old name Office 365, those are all one in the same entity. And what you're doing is you are buying a subscription, a monthly subscription, which you can pay yearly, but it's, it's a subscription. So you are renting the right to use the software. And when you stop paying, the software stops working. The benefit going the subscription route is that you are getting continual updates, um, feature updates is what I'm talking about. So as different teams, Excel, Word, Access, you know, create new features, you're going to see those features rather rapidly. Uh, there's pros and cons to that, as we know, lots of bugs occur also. So, but at the same time, you stay at the forefront of what is available. On the other hand, if you get Microsoft Office 2024 or any of the predecessors, what you're doing is you're buying a one-time license, a perpetual license. So you're purchasing that version. So you're purchasing Office 2024 frozen in time uh, as it was released. You will get security updates for the duration of the license and things like that. Normally it's five years, I believe. Um, but basically it's more or less frozen. Sometimes you'll get a feature here and there when the dev teams feel that, you know, they need to release it to all the different versions and editions, but realistically you don't expect it. When you're buying this, you're buying it as is on the day you buy it. Um, and that's, that's the pro and the con. So with that being said, what we found out through this page here is October 1st, right here, um, they officially released Office 2024. Now you can scroll through the article, the link, all of these pages, all of these links are on my blog. So you don't have to go f digging and Googling anyway. So you'll go through and you'll see here that they go and they explain. And as once again, you're going to see here a common repeating pattern. So what do you get? You get a locked in time version of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Outlook. Okay, now I'm just gonna scroll, you go through this, they're showing some of you know the new features, things like that. Um, take a peek at it, but what's nifty is you can also go into a more detailed page, which breaks things down a little bit further. If you come here, you'll see the difference between Office 24 and the LTSC. Um, now the LTSC is not for consumers, general population consumers. It's for business. It's supposed to be for five users or more, and you have to go through Microsoft sales to even get licenses. So for the mere mortal, typically this isn't something you're going to have. This is going to be for a company. But if you scroll through this, you'll start seeing or being able to review a little bit as to what is new in Office 2024. You'll also see that they have icons here to show you which ones apply to which applications. So, um, yeah, you just go scrolling through it. You'll see they break down a little bit, you know, the, the really important features according to Microsoft. Um, and if you go down and you keep going down and you eventually get to the bottom, 
you'll see here they also have a section here where they have individual apps broken down. So you can click on any one of these to then go, for instance, the Access one, to get just what is new in Access 2024. And you can then scroll through and specifically about Access. One thing you're going to notice here, um, for instance, they're talking about Office Access 2024, and yet here for the large address aware, they specifically say the 32-bit version of Microsoft 365 has been updated to large address aware. So they're not saying that Access 2024 has been upgraded to LAA, that no, the Microsoft 365 subscription version has LAA. So that's one thing that I noticed that I find a little worrisome. But anyway, keep scrolling through. And you can do this, like I said, for every application you can possibly wish to review. So here's for Excel, and you can go through and see what the new features are for Excel. Okay, <clears throat> now we've taken a look at what is Access Office 2024, or what are the new features? You can peruse that at your leisure. How do you go about buying it? What versions, What what is out there? Well, you have two big options. The first one is to come here, and you've got the Office Home. Now, the Office Home is obviously for a home user. It's not supposed to be used for any commercial purposes. But if that's for of interest to you, and this is in US dollars because I'm in English US right now, and you'll see it includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. And that's it. You can also, if you wanted, purchase Office Home and Business. And now this can be used for commercial and at $250 US, it includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote. So this got me a little concerned because once again, you can go through the page, you can check your overview requirements, frequently asked questions. You can come check here and you'll find no mention anywhere of Microsoft Access. And for some of us, that's kind of important. So I did go through lots of pages. So one page, for instance, is here you can compare. Because, of course, Microsoft wants to keep pushing us and everyone towards subscription. Yeah, this is where they make more money, for sure. Um, and if you look here, Office Home 2024, and we scroll down a little bit, you'll see for access, it is not included. So it not is it just that, oh, they forgot to write it in here. or the, No. If you look at the chart, it is clearly not part of Home 2024. I haven't been able to find anything relating to the uh, business version, but um, it is clearly omitted. And there was communication from the dev team that access is not included also. So the two consumer venues that we have access to, should I say avenues that we have access to, both do not include access. So where does that leave us? Well, that leaves us, the only other option that's available on the market is an LTSC uh, license. And if you take a look at the LTSC licenses, you will see that access appears only on the professional plus one. So the, you know, if you're in a company and you can get volume licensing, then you can still purchase it. But once again, what is the price? You don't know. You have to contact Microsoft sales to find out. As for the average little human at home, you don't have any options as far as buying a complete office package. So where does that leave us? That leaves us that your only option is you could buy one of these two packages, incomplete as they are, and then you'd have to top it up by buying access separately as a standalone application. And as you can see here, once again, in US dollars, $180, you can buy just access. Similarly, if you didn't want to buy all of Office and you just wanted, you can do the same for every single application. You can buy just Excel, you can buy just Outlook, you can buy just PowerPoint. So the options are there. But realistically, $179 just for uh, Excel, when you can buy 
Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote for 250 So, you know, from that perspective, it's a no-brainer. You buy the suite. So that's a high-level overview of where we stand. What do you say? Uh, once again, you see off, uh, access, for those of us that need access, access isn't included, isn't included, isn't included, isn't included, and the only one here is the LTSC, and that is only for volume license purchases. So, um, you know, it's, it's nice to see Office 2024 released. It's nice to have that option. You know, from a pr general perspective of Outlook, Excel, in you know, a word, that, that's great. But there's a huge glaring omission here, once again, from Microsoft. And it speaks volume as to what their management, uh, upper management, uh, considers Microsoft Access to be. But for the rest of you who don't care about Access, well, you're still sitting pretty pretty between these two options. So if you're a home user, this is definitely the avenue you should be taking. And if you're a business or your commercial usage, well, then this is the avenue you need to take. As I said, you come here, all the links are available. Uh, so the home link, the corporate one, um, you can come here to look at buying individual applications. You can look here at the summary of what is, you know, the new features for 2024 and then my overview of everything. So that's where we stand, and uh, yeah, if anything ever changes, uh, I doubt it will, because all of this has already rolled out, but if ever something changes on the front that Access does get included, or that they actually roll out perhaps an Office Professional 2024, which isn't LTSC, which would really be ideal, uh, well then I'll uh, update the article and uh, let you guys know. But as it stands right now, the only way to get access in reality for most people will be to have to purchase it outright individually at $180. Or it's to go with Microsoft 365 subscription and pay a monthly fee for the right to use the applications. I'm going to stop here, stop rambling, wishing you all a great day. As always, um, if you don't mind, like, share, subscribe, and drop me some comments, guys. Uh, what do you think of Access being completely ignored in the latest release of Office 2024? Is this something you've expected, par for the course, uh, just more of the same? Or are you guys actually surprised that there is no version for you know mere mortals that they can purchase access as part of an office suite anymore like it has been for 30 years so i'd love to hear your guys opinion on this um like i said i'm gonna wish you all a great day and we'll see you in the next one